no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again, and today I thought I'd do a follow-up video since it's been seven months since I had flat foot surgery on my right foot. And many people have been requesting this of me, so today I'm going to do it. Okay, so let's talk about the ups and downs of getting this surgery. So the ups are that my foot feels more stable in general. It feels like it's more stable all the way up my leg since your foot is the foundation of your body. So if you have, if your foot is collapsing down like that repeatedly, it's going to affect you all the way up. And I feel more stable in general. And I feel like my foot has more endurance, perhaps due to the stability and due to the, what they did during the surgery. So more endurance, more stability, and I don't get pain in the inner arch of my foot anymore. So that's the ups. Let's talk about the downs now. So I noticed my foot is less flexible after the surgery than it was before. So I do notice that it is, le it is more flexible than it was six weeks after I got out of the cast. I'll, link, I'll put a video right here, right now, about what, what my foot was like six weeks once I got out of the cast. And the harder, the harder motion I have to do is to go in while pointing my foot down. So I'd point my foot down and I'd move in. And I have to retrain my foot to do that motion. It's extremely hard. It feels extremely tight and stiff. So as you can see, I was very stiff there, but now not as much. Uh, it's more flexible, but not as flexible as it once was. So keep that in mind if you got the surgery. And I also noticed that it will affect you if you work out in the gym, or if you play sports, it will affect you there too. You probably won't be at your original level after this surgery. Because um, your doctor, the instructions that she gave me were that you can't do squats with weight on your back, no deadlifts with weights, no lunges with weights, no calf raises with weights. You have to, you can't be harsh on your foot because the surgery has to last the rest of your life. So. I, I, luckily I'm trained though, so I can do things for my legs that might not occur to other people. Like, uh, you gotta do open chain exercises, meaning you, you have to exercise your leg without bearing weight through your foot. So I'll do hamstring curls, lay on your stomach, do the hamstring curls because the weight's on the back of your calf, it's not on, you're not bearing no weight through your foot. You can do leg extensions, but I don't think those are good for your knees, so I don't do those. I do body weight squats on the BOSU ball, because squats, those will build your quads, those will build your glutes, and the BOSU ball helps with balance, which is important after the surgery. So I do that on the BOSU ball, and I do exercises uh, on a machine, where I am standing up, I got this bar behind the back of my knee, and I can put the weight to as much or as little as I want to, and I do. I bring my leg back, hip extension, that's your gluteus maximus working. Then you put the bar on the side of your ankle and do leg raise and uh, do leg ra leg raises sideways to work out your gluteus medius. And I can pretty much work out my whole leg, but not as effectively as before, but I can still do it pretty effectively. So it's not the end. You can still work out your legs. You might not be able to play sports like you did before. If you play basketball, probably you won't be at the same level you were. You're not going to be running any marathons after the surgery. And it, it'll affect you there. But uh, do you want to walk long distances? Do you want to be able to walk several miles at a time? I know I want to walk long distances, so that's why I got the surgery to be able to walk. Otherwise, if you wait too long to get the surgery, you can start getting arthritic changes, the cartilage can start wearing away, then it's bone on bone, osteoarthritis, painful. So that's why I got the surgery as soon as it was convenient for me. And I'm gonna get the surgery in five months on my left foot, and then I'll have it on both feet and be able to pretty much return to normal. And that's pretty much the lowdown on the surgery. Hopefully, I answered your questions. So guys, if you have any more questions for me on the surgery, feel free to ask them in the comments. I'll answer them if you have any suggestions for any more videos. Even if they're not related to the surgery, feel free to ask me because I'll do videos on pretty much anything related to fitness. And that's pretty much it. So if you like the video, thumb it up, comment, subscribe to the channel, 
And until next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>